Teresa, when did you apply for your ID card at the DMV? Two weeks ago. Do you have it? No. Sam, do you have yours? No, I didn't get mine. If something was started and is not finished, then we use the present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. You say have or has. Then the present perfect tense of the verb. For example, I have taught English for 15 years. I started teaching English 15 years ago. And I am still teaching it today. I have taught English for 15 years. What is the past tense of speak? The past tense of speak is spoke. Today, I speak with you. Yesterday, I spoke with my wife. Now, listen to this. I have spoken with Oscar three times since he went to Mexico. Have plus spoken. This means that it started in the past but is not finished. Teresa, have you spoken with your mom this week? Yes, I have spoken with my mom one time this week. She has spoken with her mom once this week. Once means one time. Sometimes the present tense and present perfect tense of a verb are the same. Present tense, I come to school every day. Present perfect tense, I have come to school since September. They are the same. I have come to this school for less than one year. Sometimes the past tense and present perfect tense of a verb are the same. I teach English. Yesterday, I taught you about health care. I have taught English for 15 years. I have studied English for four months. Excellent. Isabel has studied English for four months. How long have you studied English? Sometimes the present, past, and present perfect tense of a verb are all different. Present, I go to the bank. Past, I went to the bank last week. Present perfect, I have gone to the bank four times this month. I have gone to the computer store two times this week. Sam has gone shopping twice this week. Twice means two times. Study your list of present perfect verbs. Mr. Tandy, have you ever gone to Korea? No. I have never gone to Korea. Have you ever bought a car? Yes, I've bought five cars in my life. 
I've is the contraction for I have. I have or I've. Have you seen Mrs. Martinez today? No, I have not seen Mrs. Martinez today. Or, I haven't seen Mrs. Martinez today. Haven't is the contraction for have not. Have not or haven't. He has been our teacher for less than one year. Or, he's been our teacher for less than one year. He's is the contraction for he has. He has or he's. He has not gotten his ID card yet. Or, he hasn't gotten his ID card yet. Hasn't is the contraction for has not has not or hasn't. Please do this worksheet and this homework. What do I have in my hand? You have a telephone in your hand. Right, or phone. This is a cordless phone. Cord, no cord. Cord, no cord cordless phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Let's make a phone call. Whom do you want to call? Can we call Oscar in Mexico? No, that is a very expensive phone call. Whom do you want to call? Let's call my dad. What's your phone number? 555-0162. That sound is a dial tone. Dial tone. I'm dialing the phone number. Dial. It's busy. Busy. He's on the phone with another person. Let's try again. It's ringing. Ringing. The phone is ringing. I'm answering the phone. Answer. Hello? Hi, is Mr. Lopez there, please? This is Mr. Lopez. Good morning. Mr. Lopez, this is Mr. Tandy, Teresa's teacher. Hi, Mr. Tandy. Is everything all right with Teresa? Is there a problem? No, there's no problem. Everything is fine. I'm teaching the class how to use the telephone. Oh, I see. Have a nice day, Mr. Lopez. Thank you. You too. Bye. Goodbye. I'm hanging up the phone. Hang up. Sam, come here, please. Pick up the phone. Call the DMV. 
what should I say? Ask them why you haven't received your ID card yet. Do you know the phone number? No, you have to look it up. I'm sorry, Mr. Tandy, I don't understand. This is a phone book. Phone book. Now, complete this worksheet and this homework. The phone book is full of numbers. There are three sections in the phone book. The blue section has phone numbers for government offices. The library, post office, and DMV are in the government section. The white section has phone numbers for houses, and businesses. You have to know the name of the person or business. They are listed in alphabetical order from A to Z. Let's look up the phone number for Mrs. Martinez. Okay. First, we look for Martinez. Here it is. Now, we look for Anna Martinez. Martinez, Anna, 555-0324. The yellow pages only have businesses. You look for the kind of business. Banks, restaurants, and clothing stores are in the yellow pages. Automobile, bank, banks. Here it is. These are all the banks in the area. Now let's look for restaurants. Okay, remodeling. Restaurants, here it is. These are all the restaurants in the area. Okay, I'm going to look up the DMV. Here it is. Dial the number. 555-6914. Hello. You have called the Department of Motor Vehicles. For English, press 1. For Spanish, press 2. For Korean, press 3. May I do it in Korean? No, Sam. Press 1. For driver's license information, press 1. For car registration information, press 2. For ID card information, press 3. Good morning, DMV. Hi, I'm calling to find out about my ID card. Okay, what would you like to know? Well, I applied for the card two weeks ago, and I haven't gotten it yet. It takes four to six weeks to arrive. You need to wait a few more weeks. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Can I help you with anything else? Yes, can I make an appointment to take my written test? Have you studied the book yet? Yes, I have studied the book. Terrific. When would you like to take the test? Can I take it on Saturday at 10.30? No, how about 11.45? Okay. What's your name? My name is Sam Kim. All right, Sam. We'll see you here on Saturday morning at 1145. 
Okay, bye. Great job, Sam. Please do this worksheet and this homework. Then take this quiz. Yes, Isabel. What if I need a number that's not in the phone book? You can dial 411. What's your dad's name? My dad's name is Robert Chang. Okay. I'm going to call 411. Remember, it costs money to call 411. Information. What city, please? Baker, California. Go ahead. Can I please have the number for Robert Chang? Here's your number. The number is area code 650-555-4829. Is that your number, Isabel? Yes, it is. I'm calling your dad. Good morning. Is Robert Chang home, please? No, I'm sorry. He's not here right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes. Please tell him that Mr. Tandy called. My number is 555-0884. 555-0884? Yes. Okay. I'll tell him. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. That was my aunt. Now, if you have an emergency, call 911. Look at this. Fire. Fire. Call 911 for a fire or any emergency. Have you ever called 911? What happened? What is an answering machine? An answering machine, or voicemail, answers the phone when nobody is home. Come here, Isabel. Dial 555-0884. Hello. You have called Jim and Mary Candy. Please leave a message and we'll call you soon. Hi, Mr. Tandy. This is Isabel. My number is 555-4829. Please give me a call when you have a chance. That was perfect. You left me a message. Message. Cool. Sam never calls me, but he sends me messages on the computer. Sam sent me an email. Yes, that is called email. On the internet, we can send messages using email. Have you ever sent email? Phone calls and email are forms of communication. Communication. What are some 
other forms of communication. My mom sent me this letter from Colombia. Your mom lives in Colombia? Yes, she lives in Colombia. This is mail. Mail. Cool. My mom sent a letter from Colombia. I got this letter from her last week. She has written me 24 letters since we've been in the United States. Great. So, we have phone calls, emails, and letters. There is another form of communication. Look, this is a fax machine. Fax machine. I can fax papers to you if you have a fax machine. A phone call, fax, email, and letter are forms of communication. Now complete this worksheet and this homework. We live in Baker, California. This is our local area. Local area. If you make phone calls in this area, it doesn't cost anything. You don't have to use the area code. They are local calls. Local calls. When you call outside of this area, it's called a long distance call. For a long distance call, you have to use the area code. Each area has its own code. The area code for New York City is 212. Miami is 305. Chicago, 773. Where do you live? What is your area code? The area code here is 650. That's right. Long distance calls cost money. To make a long distance call, you dial 1, the area code, and the phone number. Where do you make a long distance phone call? What about calls to other countries? That is called an international call. International calls cost more money. Each country has a country code. The country code for Guatemala is 502. The country code for China is 86. You have to dial 011 plus the country code plus the phone number. Okay, class, are you ready to take your test at the DMV? Yes. Yeah. Let's review the information. This is a lane. Lane. Right turn. Right turn. U-turn. U-turn. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop. Stop. Stop light. Stop light. Red 
means stop. Green means go. Yellow means slow down and stop. Don't walk. Don't walk. 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 This is a parking lot. Parking lot. Park the car. Park the car. Reverse. Reverse. These are traffic signs. Traffic signs. This sign means you must not turn left. No left turn. This means you must not make a U-turn. No U-turn. Yield sign. Yield. This means you have to let the cars pass in front of you. This is the speed limit. You must not drive faster than this. This speedometer tells you how fast the car is going. Right now, the speed is 25 miles per hour. Street signs. Street signs. Do you know how to drive a car? All right, let's go. Wait, how are we going to get to the DMV? Mr. Tandy is not here. How can we get to the DMV? We can walk. No way. It's too far. We can call Mr. Tandy. Yes, let's call him. No, Mr. Tandy is at the doctor's office. Look at this. Bus. Bus. Taxi. Taxi. Or cab. Cab. Bicycle. Bicycle. Or bike. Bike. Boat. Boat. Ship. Ship. Airplane. Airplane. Or plane. Plane. Train. Train. He's going underground, underground. That is the subway, subway. These are all forms of transportation, transportation. Have you ever been on a boat? What form of transportation should we take? We can take the bus. We can take a taxi. We can take the subway. What do you think we should do?
Which one is the fastest? A taxi cab is the fastest. I think the bus is the slowest. Which is the cheapest? The bus or the subway is the cheapest. Can we all ride in one taxi cab? No, let's take the bus. Yes, take the bus. Hi, Ms. Yamamoto. Hello, everyone. My name is Ms. Yamamoto. I am the school counselor. Hi. Hi. Ms. Yamamoto is going to the DMV with you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. Can you please lower the ramp for my counselor? Sure. I have two dollars in quarters. How much is the bus fare? The bus fare is two dollars. Please do this worksheet. And this homework. You go to the DMV to take your test. I'll wait for you in the library. Okay, see ya. Bye. Excuse me, we're here to take the written test. Okay, go to the back counter to take the test. I'm sorry, I made an appointment for Saturday. Okay, would you like to take the test today? Can I do that? Yes. I'll cancel your appointment. Take your test in the back of the room. Can I help you? I'm scared. Why are you scared? I'm scared because I didn't study very much. I'm happy. Why are you happy? I'm happy because I studied the whole book. I am ready for the test. I am ready too. Are you finished? Yes. Yes. Here's my test. I'll be right back. I hope I passed. I think I passed. I knew almost all of the answers. I don't think I passed. Teresa, congratulations. You passed the test. Sam, well done. You also passed. Isabel, I'm sorry. You can try again in one week. When are we going to get our driver's permit? You should receive it in about four weeks. If you don't get it, call me. So we can't drive until we get the permit? 
You can use these for now. Remember, you can only drive with someone who is 21 or older. Yeah, we know. We did it! We passed the test! All right, congratulations. I didn't pass. Did you study the book, Isabel? I studied a little bit. I'm going to read through this whole book twice. Good idea. When are you going to try again? I'm going to try again next week. You are going to try again next week. Tomorrow, next week, and next year are in the future. Future. Yesterday was the past. Now is the present. Tomorrow is the future. The past already happened. The present is happening right now. The future hasn't happened yet. To talk about the future, we can use be plus going to plus a verb. I am going to eat chicken tonight. Isabel is going to take the test again next week. We are going to practice driving a car tomorrow. We are? Uh-huh. We can also talk about the future with will. Will plus a verb. I will eat chicken tonight. Isabel will take the test again next week. We will practice driving a car tomorrow. Teresa, when will you see your mom again? I don't know when I will see my mom again. Will can be a contraction. I will or I'll. You will or you'll. We will or we'll. Isabel, I think you'll pass the test next week. We'll practice driving the car tomorrow. Will I get to practice? No, you will not get to practice tomorrow. Or, you won't get to practice tomorrow. Will not or won't. Mrs. Martinez won't be here tomorrow. Why won't she be here tomorrow? She won't be here tomorrow because she has to go to the dentist. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Mr. Tandy? Yes, Teresa. My dad and I need your help. Sure. What can I do for you? Well, we have to leave our house. We need to find a new place to live. Why do you need to leave your house? We have to leave our house because the rent is too expensive. We need a cheaper place to live. All right, Teresa. I'll show you and your dad how to find a place to live. Wow, thanks, Mr. Tandy. It's no problem. Now, do this worksheet. And this homework. Then, take this quiz. Mr. Tandy, I want to thank you for coming. 
We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. I always try to help my students and their families. Thank you, Teresa. You're welcome. How can we find a new place to live? First, you have to decide what kind of housing you want. Look at these different kinds of housing. House. House. Apartment. Apartment. There are many apartments in one building. Duplex. Duplex. There are two separate homes in a duplex. Condominium or condo. Condo. There are many condos in one building. What kind of housing do you live in? I want to live in a house. I don't think we can afford to live in a house. We'll probably have to live in an apartment. You also need to decide if you're going to rent or buy. What's the difference? When you rent, you pay money every month to live in it, but you don't own it. What does own mean? Own means it belongs to you. It's yours. Is this your house? No, we rent it. Okay. Who owns this house? His name is Mr. Sullivan. He lives across the street. He owns this house and the one across the street. What do you do when there is a problem at this house? I talk to Mr. Sullivan. He helps us with the problems. Mr. Sullivan is your landlord. Landlord. Do you have a landlord? How do you buy a house? Well, you get a loan from the bank. You need to have some of the money now. Then you pay the rest over the next 30 years. That's called a mortgage. Mortgage. A mortgage is a loan for buying a house. At the bank, they told me that it's difficult to get a loan. I have to earn a lot of money at work. I have to show that I've been working for a long time. I have to show that I've paid off smaller loans in the past. You should rent for a few years, save a lot of money, and then buy a house. I'm going to work soon so I can help with some money. There are many ways to look for a place to rent. Can we rent a condo? No, a condo is like an apartment, but you buy it. An apartment is for renting, and a condo is for buying. Should we rent an apartment? Yes, that is cheaper than a house. Can we rent a duplex? Yes, but it's more expensive than an apartment. Then let's look for an apartment. Okay. One way to look for an apartment is in the newspaper. This is the classified section. Classified. Here are all the apartments for rent. You see the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. BR means bedroom. BA means bathroom. You see where it is and how much it costs. 
This number is the phone number to call if you want more information. Another way to look for housing is on the internet. 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 Another way is to go to the area where you want to live and look for this sign. There will be a phone number here to call for information on the apartment. This sign means you can buy the place. This sign means you can rent the place. Another great way to find out about apartments is to talk to people you know. Mrs. Martinez, do you know of any apartments for rent? No, I'm sorry, I don't. I will ask my friends. Okay, thanks. How did you find your home? I found an apartment for rent. It's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment. Where is it? It's right down the street. The rent is a lot less than this place. Is there a phone number? Yes. Should I call? Sure. Hello, my name is Daniel Lopez. I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Is it still available? I live with my daughter. Can we go to look at it? Okay, we'll see you in a few minutes. Let's go. Can I wait for you here? Sure. I'll see you in a little bit. Hi, Mr. Lopez? Yes, you must be Rosa. This is my daughter, Teresa. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Fine, thanks. Well, come on in. This is the living room. The people who live here now will be moving out next week. I asked them yesterday if we could come in the apartment. Can we look around? Sure. Take all the time you need. Your landlord must ask you before entering your home. Do you like it? Absolutely. We want to live here. Yeah. Please fill out this rental application. Rental application. Return it to me tomorrow, OK? We will be back tomorrow. We saw the apartment. It was great. So you liked it? Absolutely. She gave us that rental application. Please do this worksheet. And this homework. Will you help us fill it out? Sure. Write your last name and then your first name.
gross monthly income means the amount of money you are paid every month before taxes are taken out. How much money do you earn? I earn $2,000 per month, but my check is always $1,400. Your gross income is $2,000. Income is money that you receive. Do you receive money other than from work? Yes, my wife earns money as well. She will be coming here next month. How much will she earn? She will earn about $1,500 per month before taxes. Your current address is where you live now. Current means now. How long have you lived here? We have only lived here for four months. Oh, that's a problem. Why is that a problem? It's a problem because they want to see that you pay your rent on time. If you've only been here for four months, then they won't know. Oh well, there's nothing you can do. Previous. Previous means before. Where did you live before you lived in this house? We lived in Colombia. Write that address. SSN means Social Security Number. Do you have one? Yes, I have one now. Okay, write that. Write the name and address and phone number of the place where you work. Occupation means job. What do you do for work? I don't know how to say it in English. I count all the money at a restaurant. I follow the money going in and out of the business. You are a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. How long have you been working at the restaurant? I've been working there for three months. Where did you work before this? I worked at a restaurant in Colombia. Okay, write that.
A tenant is a person living in the rental. You and Teresa are the tenants at this house. Teresa and my wife are the other tenants. That's right. You're all finished. I will take this to Rosa tomorrow. Who is Rosa? Rosa is the landlord of the apartment. Good luck. We appreciate your help. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going home now. Goodbye, Mr. Tandy. See you later. Good morning. Hi, Rosa. Here's the application. Thanks. Let's go inside. You've only had this job for three months. And you've only lived in your house for four months. I know. We will be very good tenants. I promise. You have to pay the rent before the fifth of every month. We will. You have to pay me $2,100 right now. Why do I have to pay you so much money? It's $800 for the first month's rent, plus $800 for the last month's rent, plus $500 for a security deposit. That makes $2,100. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Can you explain that to me? You pay me $800 for the first month you are going to live here. Okay. When you leave, that will be your last month in the apartment. You have to pay me for that month now. Why? Because I don't want you to leave without paying rent. I won't do that. I'm sorry. This is not a good application. All right. I understand. What is a security deposit? Deposit means you give me some money, but you get it back when you leave. If anything bad happens to the apartment, I pay for it with your security deposit. If we keep the apartment clean and in good condition, then you will return my money. Exactly. Can I give you the money tomorrow? Yes. Call me before you come. Do you have a phone book? Yes. Look up the numbers for the phone company, electric company, and cable for the TV. Those are called utilities. Utilities. Call the utilities and tell them you are moving into this apartment. I have to give my landlord a 30-day notice. I can't move in here for 30 days. I know about that. Just give me the money tomorrow, okay? All right. Now, fill out this form. Get in the car. I am in the driver's seat. I am the driver. Steering wheel. Steering wheel. Windshield. Windshield. Windshield wipers. Wipers. 
automatic transmission. Automatic. Look. Manual transmission. Manual. Or stick shift. Stick shift. Blinkers. Blinkers. Speedometer, speedometer, odometer, odometer. What's the odometer for? It tells you how many miles the car has been driven. This car has been driven 30,070 miles. Hazard light. hazard lights. If you have an emergency, you use the hazard lights. Seat belt. Seat belt. You must always wear your seat belt when in the car. You must always wear your seat belt. I am going to start the car. Key. Key. I started the car. The gas pedal is on the right. The gas pedal makes the car move. The brake is on the left. The brake stops the car. D is for drive. I'm driving the car. I'm putting on the brakes to stop the car. R is for reverse. I'm putting on the brakes to stop the car. I'm going to turn off the car. The car is off. Get out of the car. OK, who wants to drive? I do. I do. Did you have fun driving with Mr. Tandy? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I didn't get to drive. Why not, Isabel? Because I didn't pass the written test. But I'm going to try again next week. This morning, I saw something interesting. What did you see? Look. I am a police officer. Police officer. What did I do, officer? Do you see that sign? You were going 50 miles per hour. The speed limit is 30 miles per hour. You were speeding. I'm sorry. Can I see your license and registration, please? Is this your current address? Yes, it is. I'll be right back. This is called a ticket. 
ticket. Please sign here. What do I have to do? Send this ticket with a check for $200 to that address. This is called a fine. Fine. I don't think I was speeding. Then you can go to court on this date. Court. Court. I think I'll go to court. Good luck. Speeding tickets are expensive. Have you ever gotten a ticket? I'm going to drive slower than the speed limit. You need to have car insurance to drive a car. What's car insurance? Car insurance pays for damage and medical bills if you have an accident. Car accident. Accident. Damage. Damage. You pay the insurance company money. If you have an accident, the insurance company will pay for it. What if I get in an accident and I don't have insurance? If someone gets hurt, you will get a fine or go to jail. 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 Now, complete this worksheet. And this homework. Hi, class. Ms. Yamamoto, thank you for helping me today. Ms. Yamamoto is going to work with you now. I have to go to the office. Are you ready to go downtown? Where is downtown? Downtown is where all the businesses are. Let me show you. That is the library. Library. Thank you. I am a librarian. Librarian. I would like to check out these books. Do you have your library card? Here it is. They're due in four weeks. Due means I have to return them? Yes, they're due in four weeks. Thank you. Do I have to pay to check out books? No, it's free. You just need a library card. How do I get a library card? Anyone who lives in the area can get one. Just fill out this form. Thank you. This is a fire station. Fire station. They are firefighters. Firefighters. That is a police station. Police station. <coughs> police officers and firefighters help us when we have a problem. 
Remember, if you have an emergency, call 911. That is a post office. Post office. To mail a letter within the U.S., you need one stamp. Stamp. You can also send packages at the post office. This is very bad. There should be a ramp for me to go down into the street. That is my right. I'm going to City Hall. What is City Hall? City Hall is where all the people who work for the city are. I'm going to complain about that sidewalk. Look, this is complain. I'm tired. This pin doesn't write. Isabel was late to class again. Mrs. Martinez is complaining. Complaining. Hello, how can I help you? I need to speak to someone about a sidewalk without a ramp. I have a right to roll down ramps into the street. On the corner of 2nd Avenue and Almond Street, there is no ramp. Okay, wait one moment, please. Someone needs to speak to you about the sidewalk on 2nd Avenue and Almond Street. You can go back to room 38 and speak with the city manager. Thank you. What happened to Ms. Yamamoto? She went to City Hall. Why did she go to City Hall? She went to City Hall because she wanted to complain about the sidewalk. There is no ramp for her to get off the sidewalk. Did she tell you about City Hall? Yes, she told us a little bit about City Hall. I am the leader of this classroom. Leader. The principal is the leader of this school. Have you ever seen this place? That is the White House. The President of the United States lives in the White House. That's right. The President lives in the White House. Who is the President of the United States? The President is the leader of our country. The President and the other leaders are part of the government. Government. The country's government is in Washington, D.C. Our city also has a government. Our city's leaders are the mayor and city council. They work at City Hall, right? Exactly. If you have a problem with something in this city, you can go to City Hall or you can write a letter. Can we write a letter about the sidewalk? Yeah, a letter will help Ms. Yamamoto. Yes. If one person complains about something, it's hard to make a change. If many people complain, then the government will listen. The more people that complain about the sidewalk, the better chance of getting a ramp.
please do this worksheet. Then take this quiz. Have you ever eaten ice cream? Have you been to Washington, D.C.? Has Teresa received a letter from her mom? How long have you been in the U.S.? Is this a cell phone? What kind of phone is this? Have you ever made a phone call? Where did you call? How much did it cost? What number do I dial in an emergency? When I answer the phone, you ask for Mr. Tandy. Hello? I'm sorry, he's not here right now. Can I take a message? Okay, I'll tell him. Bye. What is that sound? What am I doing? What does that sound mean? I'll try again. What does that sound mean? What is this? Where are the government numbers? What phone numbers are in the yellow pages? What is this? If I'm calling a number in Baker, 
Do I have to dial this? What is a long distance phone call? What is an international phone call? A phone call is a form of communication. What other forms of communication are there? What is this? What am I touching? Who sent me this letter? What does this sign mean? What is this? What does the red light mean? What does the green light mean? What does the yellow light mean? What does this sign mean? What does this mean? What is that? What does it tell you? What do these numbers mean? What am I doing? What did I do? What is this? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Who am I? What is this?
What do I do with this? What happens if you drive without car insurance? A car is a form of transportation. What are some other forms of transportation? Is this a bus? Have you ever been on an airplane? How can I get to the bank? How can I get to Mexico? How can I get to China? Where am I? What do you need to do before you can drive? Did Isabel pass the test? Why didn't Isabel pass the test? When will she take it again? When will Teresa and her dad move to their new apartment? An apartment is a kind of housing. What other kinds of housing are there? How do you look for housing? Do you rent or own your home? What does this sign mean? Who am I? What is a security deposit? Mr. Lopez gave me his security deposit this morning. When will he get it back? What is a tenant? Who am I? What is this? How much does it cost? What can you do with it? Okay. 
Where are they? What do you do here? Police Department. Fire Department. Why do we need the police and fire departments? Who lives here? What does he do? Who works here? Hello, how can I help you? I need to speak to someone about a sidewalk without a ramp. What is Ms. Yamamoto doing? I have a right to roll down ramps into the street on the corner of 2nd Avenue and Almond Street there is no ramp now play the practice section again and do this worksheet then take this test <laughs> 